In this video tutorial, I'd like to teach you how to make a mini lined drawstring bag. Let's first take a look at the supplies that you will need. You will need a piece of fabric for the exterior of your gift bag, a piece of fabric for the lining, or you can use the same fabric. You will also need a self-healing cutting mat, an acrylic ruler, and a rotary cutter, a fabric marking pen, a seam ripper, thread, and a wound bobbin a pair of fabric scissors, and I like to keep a small pair of embroidery scissors by my sewing machine. You also need a seam gauge or a small ruler, some pens, or my favorite, some wonder clips. You will also need, of course, your sewing machine, and you will need some kind of cord or twine for the drawstring. Now the first thing that we are going to do is to cut our fabric. We want to cut the fabric six inches wide by 11 inches high. You can also cut your fabric to be any width and length that you want for your bag. So I've cut the width, the width of the bag six inches wide and now I'm going to trim it down to 11 inches long. Once I have my fabric pieces cut, I'm going to fold them right sides together and then pin or clip down the long sides. I'll take the lining fabric to my sewing machine and stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. When I stitch down one of the long sides, I'll leave a one or two inch opening for turning the bag. And then I will repeat the same down the other side. Again, I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance. I'll reinforce my stitches at the beginning and the end of the seam using a back stitch. And down the second side, I'm not going to leave an opening. I will just stitch straight down that side, quarter inch seam allowance, but I will reinforce my stitches. Then I'll repeat that process with the exterior of the bag. Again, quarter inch seam allowance, stitch straight down, reinforce my seams, and I do not need to leave a gap in the side opening for the exterior of the fabric. So stitch straight down both sides of your exterior fabric using a quarter inch seam allowance. And then I like to take and press the side seams open. That will help with inserting your uh, drawstring into the casing. So just lay those seams open and, and give them a quick little press towards the top raw edge of your bags. Now you will take the exterior bag and insert it into the lining so that right sides are together, line up the seams, and then pin or clip into place. And then you'll stitch around the top edge a quarter inch seam allowance. And then you will turn the bags inside out through that opening in the lining. Once you turn it inside out, you can go ahead and close up that opening with your sewing machine or by hand stitching. And then you'll take the bag over to your sewing machine and you will stitch three quarters of an inch from the top edge of the bag. And this will be the first line of top stitching around the perimeter of the top of the bag. And this is what we're going to do to create the casing for our drawstring. So again, a three quarter inch stitch around the entire perimeter of the bag and be sure to reinforce your stitches at the beginning and the end. Next, you'll make a second row of top stitching about an inch and a half from that top edge of your bag. Reinforce your stitches at the beginning and the end. Just take your stitching nice and slow because it is more difficult to stitch around like this when you're dealing with such a small item, but just take it slow and you'll be okay. So continue stitching about an inch and a half from the edge and be sure to reinforce your stitches at the beginning and the end by doing a couple of back stitches. Trim your threads and you're ready to proceed on to the next step. Be sure to trim away any strings or threads that you have when you remove your bag from your sewing machine. 
like I said, I like to keep these pair of uh, embroidery scissors right by my machine. It makes it really handy for stuff like this. And then I'm going to take my seam ripper and I'm going to open up that side seam between the two row of stitches that I just made. Now be careful not to rip through or cut the top stitches. You just want to open up the side stitches. So I'm going to insert the point of my seam ripper right into the middle of that seam. And remember we press these open so this will help us with that. And then just slide the seam ripper along to open up that seam between those two rows of stitches. And I will repeat this process on the other side of the bag. So again, I will insert my seam ripper and just slide it gently up through that seam to cut those threads. And now this, again, it was the opening for the casing so we can insert our drawstrings. So take a 15 inch piece of ribbon, rope, twine, whatever you're using. And for, my, for me, I was using some rope, so I put a little piece of scotch tape around the end to keep it from raveling. And then I just inserted the safety pin through the scotch tape and the rope. Close my safety pin, and then I'm going to insert it into one of the side openings and just work it through the bag until it, all the way around and I'm going to come out the same opening that I went into. There's the opposite side. I'll just keep going using the safety pin to help pull that uh, cord through. And when I get to the other side, grab a hold of my safety pin and pull that rope the rest of the way through or that cording the rest of the way through. And then I'll knot the ends together to secure them in place so they can't get pulled through the bag. Now I'm going to repeat that for the other side of the bag. Again, put my safety pin through the end of my cording, close my safety pin, and I'm going to insert it on the opposite side in that opening. And just use the safety pin to kind of work it through that casing. Just keep going around. Remember, I'm not coming out the opposite side. I'm going to go right past that opening and continue to work around to the other side where I inserted the safety pin. Once I get to the other side, I'll pull that out. Just keep working it and working it until I get to the other side. So. There we go, and pull the safety pin through, unfasten the safety pin, and again, I'm gonna knot the ends together. Just kind of an overhand knot. I'll do one side and then the other, and then you can trim off a little bit of the edges if you want, but just an overhand knot on both uh, sides. So the two strands that I use for my drawstring on the right side I will not make sure it's nice and secure and then I'm going to trim up those ends a little bit there we go and I'll do the same on the other side again I'm going to make an overhand knot which is just your normal everyday knot Push the ends through, pull them out, and pull the rope ends nice and tight onto themselves. And again, trim off the ends so they're nice and trimmed. And now my drawstring gift bag is ready to be used. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have seen how easy it is to make your own lined fabric gift bags. If you found this video tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel,